Welcome back, you guys. I know it's been a while, but here I am creating another makeup tutorial. So let's get right into it. I started off my look by applying MAC 24 Hour Extended Eye Base on my lids using a 270S synthetic brush. I also like to set my primer with translucent powder. Gives me a nice smooth um, canvas to work on. It makes blending a lot easier. And what I'm doing here, I'm using a lot of throwback palettes, everyone, for this look, so bear with me. I'm using a 224 blending brush and taking a deep purple from out of the Take Me to Brazil BH Cosmetic palette. And I'm really going in and just blending a lot because for cut crease, I feel like you do a lot of blending. And I'm taking a double-sided Anastasia Beverly Hills brush from um, one of her palettes. Um, and I'm using um, a deeper purple shade to go into the crease. And I'm starting out in my natural crease and then I'm working my way up because I have a hooded lid and I have more space above my mobile eyelids. So I'm bringing that color up so that I can cut the crease and it can show when my eyes are open. Now I'm taking a different brush. This is actually a double-sided brush from the Naked, one of the Naked palettes I have using um, a black eyeshadow from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm working that in between um, the purples. And I'm just going to take my time and blend these three colors so that you can see that they're very gradient. Um, I want it to be a smooth transition. And here I'm doing a blending check. So far, so good. <laughs> um, well, maybe a touch or two here or there. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a flat brush, MAC 247, and I'm using Paint Pot and Painterly to cut my crease, but I noticed it was a little dry. So I added a couple of drops of Inglot Duraline to kind of bring the paint pot back. And as you can see, it smoothed itself out um, for the most part. <laughs> this is my second time using Duraline in this particular paint pot. So um, yeah, I had to kind of, you know, blend it like some uh, pancake mix. <laughs> so I'm getting everything nice and smooth. I apologize I was out of focus you guys but I'm going to list the products that I use in the description box my um, first was the dazzle shadow liquid by Mac not afraid to sparkle I had put that in my inner corner and then I used um, iridescent pink and I used the purple from um, it looks like the naked sorry urban decay um, electric palette and jilted and then I used um, er, let's see a purple color called anthem from um, the Mi Vida Loca Kat Von D palette and I thought I was recording but I wasn't so a lot of the footage got lost I apologize for that but I picked up where I kind of left off which was doing my wing liner with a 266 angle brush and black track fluid line now you'll see me touch up my cut crease with a dazzle liner a little moonlight it's sparkly and then I perfected the crease a little bit now you are seeing me go to my lips I added prep and prime lip by Mac and now I'm using night moth lip liner I'm going to create um, something like an ombre effect to my lips and then I'm going to go in with Junie B. It's a frost lipstick by MAC from the Tiana Taylor collection. I love the texture of it and save your tears honey lip glass on top but it wasn't shiny enough so I went on ahead and added a little uh, clear dazzle glass. So just watch me kind of finish up the lip here and basically that's the end 
thanks for coming to visit me guys i know it's been a long time i'm going to try to put up more content um in the future and thanks for watching have a great day bye guys